let's make a Dollar Tree meatloaf. This is Let Us Eat. I'm Stan Ridgeway. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to make a meatloaf from Dollar Tree. I grabbed some of the 8 ounce packages of the beef patties. I'm going to grind them up because I pre-thawed them. Mince up an onion. And we're going to do a traditional meatloaf with Dollar Tree items. If you're new here, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out and giving me a chance. Thank you to everyone who watches me every single day. I really appreciate all the views, likes, and dislikes. When we get to 600, we are going to be doing two different giveaways. One for new subscribers, one for comments. A $10 Dollar Tree gift card must be United States residents. I'm going to be doing an announcement later this week for the Dollar Tree items for new subs as well as comments. So that's two different ones with the items. I have a video of the items that include all the pictures down in my description box below. So check that out. In a moment, I'm gonna turn the camera around. My subscribe guy is directing everybody to go ahead and like this video. Don't forget to click on that subscribe board down below and smash on that bell because the bell notifies you when I upload my videos so you don't miss anything and you can personalize it to your preference. Let's turn this camera on and get cooking. From the Dollar Tree you will need a couple packages of the beef patties and some of their panko. From your pantry, ketchup, garlic, black pepper, a few eggs, and a half an onion. Let's go ahead and prep this onion. I'm going to give it a quick mince. I always start long and then start short. Keep an eye on your fingers as you're running the knife through. If you don't have any fresh onions, you can use dried onions. From your spice cabinet or onion soup mix will work just as fine. Go ahead and drop the onion in, and they don't have to be perfectly minced. Go ahead and add an egg. I'm going to add two. Three teaspoons of brushed black cracked pepper. How my grandmother always built their meatloaf mixture with the egg and spices first. A couple teaspoons of garlic. Grab my scissors. I'm going to open up the beef patties. They are extra value beef patties. Cook and serve. You get two of them per package. So I just grabbed two for this meatloaf. And two of them makes one pan. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. I'm going to sprinkle out my panko, about a tablespoon. I'm going to eyeball it and cover the top of the meat here. I'm going to take my ketchup. And add about a tablespoon. And then we're going to take your one clean hand and mix it well.
have my pan to Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and spray it. I'm going to spray it well. I'm going to take your meat mixture and dump it right in. Then you're going to take your beet and spread it out. And we're going to pop this into the oven for about 35 minutes. Perfect timing. The oven is now preheated. Now take it over to the oven. If you wanted to do two pans of this meatloaf, Double your recipe. You get four packages of the eight ounce beef patties. And then we're going to time it for 35 minutes. My husband is prepping his lunch, but I'm going to take a look at the meatloaf because it's just about done. And it looks perfect. So we're going to take this out of the oven. Be very careful, because it's going to be really hot. These Dollar Tree bread pans clean very well every single time. And after a year, I just replace them. They're a buck a piece. Let's lift this cool way down, and then we're going to plate it. Let's go ahead and cut the meatloaf. And I hope it comes out, because my meatloaf never comes out in a bread slice. It tends to fall apart. But I use panko, so I hope that helps. I'm going to slice it. And it makes five slices. This thing right here. Grab myself a pot holder because I don't want to burn my hand. And carefully lift it out. And it came out in a slice. Kind of had to pop it out. Perfect. And then we're going to add some green beans from the Dollar Tree. Now these can be found in your canned goods section meatloaf and green beans and they have instant mashed potatoes that you can pick up make a really nice dinner for pennies to the dollar let's go ahead and try this the plate is hot from the touch here cut up some of the meatloaf and that's what it looks like blow on it Mmm. Some green beans. Green giant green beans from the Dollar Tree. That meatloaf is really good. I'm going to let it cool way down, wrap up the rest of it, and then I'm going to make meatloaf sandwiches for lunches later this week. It is really good. That is it for this cooking video. Thank you so much for watching me all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed this homemade Dollar Tree meatloaf. Very few ingredients with green beans on the side. That is a great dinner for a few dollars. And as I said, you can get instant mashed potatoes. They have real instant mashed potatoes by Betty Crocker that you can make that are delicious. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to click on that subscribe word down below. Make sure you tap on that bell. Don't forget to comment and comment often and let me know that you're new. Because when we get to 600, we'll be doing two Dollar Tree giveaways for $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. One for new subs, one for comments. Must let me know you're a new sub. Must be United States residents.